Well, I think that uh, Alan West and Ileana are correct. I mean, you know, when you have um, when you have the Muslim Brotherhood taking control of a country, especially one that had an arrangement with Israel, that we don't know where the future uh, uh, is going with that now. Um, obviously, it's very troubling, and we sort of knew this going into the Arab Spring. That you know, when you fill that, when you make that void. Who's going to fill it? And we're seeing time and time again, uh, whether it be in Egypt or Libya and Syria, it's the next uh, sort of shoot to drop uh, in the future. Who's going to fill that void? Who are we helping when we help the opposition? Um, those are the things that, that worry me. And, um, and certainly I think that, you know, with Egypt and its relationship with Israel, uh, this is not a good start. You think maybe the, the, the president jumped the gun a little bit and putting his full support behind this government, wait, maybe he should have waited to see what comes out of it? Because I, I think from what I understand, they've already come out and uh, have, have opposed the whole idea of, of supporting Israel or maybe even condemning Israel. I'm not too sure of that, but you think he jumped the gun? Oh, they, they, they came out and basically said that Jerusalem's going to be uh, the, a Muslim capital of, of, of the world or whatever, but... Um of course he jumped the gun. I mean, you know, he wants so bad for it to be a success, a feather in his cap, whether it be politically or for his, uh, you know, uh, you know, when he writes his next book, that he, he was the one that sort of helped facilitate that. But, you know, there's no way that you can determine at this point uh, what they're going to, what their legacy is going to be five years down the road from now. And certainly we, we've studied the Muslim Brotherhood. We know what they're all about. We know what their elements are. And um, you know you can you can sugarcoat it all you want, but th this is not a good development. Now I want to segue into these security leaks. I mean, pretty pretty uh, pretty important, and, and obviously it's an embarrassment to us around the country. You sit on the intelligence committee. What can you tell us? I know there's certain things you're privy to, and you can't tell us. But what can you tell us about these security leaks? Well, I can tell you that uh, it's a bipartisan effort. Um, it's a bipartisan concern. The ranking member, Dutch Ruppersberger from Maryland, and Mike Rogers, who's the chairman, the Republican, both stand united that these leaks are atrocious, they're, they're hurting our country, they're hurting our national security, and they're hurting our ability to be able to do business uh, as far as collecting intelligence and keeping this country safe here and abroad. And for people in the administration, the president says it wasn't the White House, but the administration that he oversees to let this information out there for what reason we're not sure other than again to try to sort of beat your chest that going into election we're tough on national security well when you're tough on national security you're tough on national security you don't have to pat yourself on the back to let the american people know how strong you are um, and that's i think what's going on here unfortunately uh, we see it time and time again that there's just there's very little uh, reins in the administration when it comes to, hey, for national security purposes, these sources and these methods have to stay confidential because if you expose them, you essentially out them and you can never use them again. If you talk about ways that we were trying to determine if bin Laden was at Abbottabad, or if you talk about ways, other ways that we collect intelligence, or who um, you know, we've taken out, so to speak, uh, then you're, you're basically tipping off the enemy that we're that, that, for instance, the underwear bomber, the second one that we got, we, we let it out of the bag that we got this guy and we had one of these underwear bombs that was, you know, extremely... I think they showed a picture of it. They showed a picture of it and they described it. These aren't easy to, to make. I mean, you're, you're talking about something that could get through a metal detector. And we are very close to, uh, to, to, to getting the person that made it. But we expose the fact that we got this before we got him. Guess what? He disappears. And the person that was cooperating with us almost didn't get out of there, um, you know, with his life. So it's, it's, uh, it's very troubling. And it really sends a message to the people around the world that are thinking about um, helping us that, do I really want to help the United States when they're so loosey-goosey with the information that they give out? I mean, uh, if... if if I was somebody that was willing to cooperate with the United States, you know, I might think twice after all this is going on.